My question is for the University of New South Wales Allens Hub and Ms. Sangupta. You've shown that a voluntary system, you want a voluntary system. Uh, you, you talked about the, the, constriction or the restrictions in India and, and the way that's been taken to be to be used for control, uh, despite a government guarantee. Are we too, is government too, too powerful these days to rely on government? Um, our position is that there should be legislative frameworks in operation that prevent an overreach from both government and non-governmental authorities. Um, so those legislative safeguards should exist for all parties that are providing services to essential services to citizens. Government uh, systems tend to be ubiquitous and overwhelm and take over the, everything. Uh, is there a case for having private a choice between private providers and then let the best succeed? Um, private providers of digital ID, ID. So in the Indian experience, it actually does not make a difference. Of course, the government has more powers, um, as, as you correctly pointed out, but it's being used ubiquitously now, and it was a voluntary system two decades ago. But now, because it, has been, it is the most convenient option, private parties and the government authorities both are using it almost for all service provision. So it actually does not make a difference. This what? is the standard case of mission creep. Okay, last question. Uh, when I say freedom of choice between different providers, for example, currency does not have to be from a central bank or from a, from a government-owned bank or a government-controlled bank. Currency can be provided, and it was in, in days gone by, centuries gone by, provided by individuals or individual companies. Why can't individuals or individual companies set up data, digital ID services as well? And we just choose which one and whichever provides the best security and the lowest risk uh, and the highest performance in each consumer's mind gets their, gets their go ahead to use their digital ID. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to comment on currency, um, but, but on the issue of digital identity, I'll, I'll refer back to what the Human Technology Institute said earlier. I mean, the important thing to get right in this legislation is the protections. Um, if those are not in place, it doesn't really matter whether it is government or the private sector providing um, the digital identity services. Um, that would be our, our critical component. Um, and if that is done correctly, then by the same token, um, it, 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 you know, we don't have any particular objection to the idea of services provided by the public, by the public Thank or you, private Thank sector. Thank you. Just, just extending Thank on that for a minute, Chair. Um, with the government, there's no alternative. With the private sector, you, you can opt out of your provider and go to, go to another, another provider. 